Hey everybody, I've got a really fun one for you today because it's Bronco Day and we are talking tops. Now this is our best top Trek top and it has been a truly awesome experience to own over the last few months. It's been great in the winter and it's been especially great in the nice weather. You fold it back, you can take out the windows, full adventure mode has been awesome. But we're talking about another option today, something a little bit unusual. Rick, what's How's it going, Tommy? Awesome, Good to so see you. what are we doing today? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Trek top off of the TFL Bronco here. And now that you have that hard top, you've been waiting for how long for? Years. <laughs> At this point, it feels like. Finally got that hard top replacement. So we're gonna put that back on and show you guys the Sunrider for hard top, which is I think a great option for people just getting into it or people who are fortunate enough to have their Broncos yep. coming in with a hard top. And uh, it's, you know, as far as the Trek top versus Sunrider, you have more options. Uh -huh. You have your, you know, your traditional pulling the windows out of the back. You have the Sunrider feature, which is similar to what is gonna be on this uh, Sunrider for hardtop, obviously. But um, if you're somebody who's just getting into it, and especially if you value access to the cargo area, like you're, maybe you got like hockey bags, things like that, that are big, you're getting out of the cargo area often. Maybe the Sunrider for hardtop is a better option with the flip up glass that you have in the back versus the Trek top is a little harder to get in and out of there. Sweet, I am so excited to see what this Bronco is going to look like. And in this video, we're also going to show you the process on how uninstalling soft top works, installing the rear portion of the hard top, and then also some care items that might you know, save you in the long run. So let's get right into it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Rick, so what is the first process to pulling off our Trek top? Yeah, uh, you're going to be really familiar with this. We're going to be taking out the rear windows. Uh, and then we're gonna be flipping back the Sunrider just to give us access to a lot of the mounting points that you're gonna see on here. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna have to go in and start taking out you know, some of the hardware and bracketry and so forth so that we can get that hard top back on. Awesome, can't wait, let's do it. Yeah. And take this rear panel out, pop the tailgate bar, and then you're gonna wanna slide it out to, what is better to go is the driver's side here. Set that aside. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and hit the latches in the front and then fold the Sunrider back. Just like you would if you were gonna go enjoy a nice day. Sweet. All right, so now that we got all of that done, I assume we're gonna start removing some hardware at this point, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, now we're gonna get into the thick of it where we're gonna to have to first remove the assembly of the deck that's up there is what we refer to it as, and then we're gonna start removing things like door rails and other sorts of brackets. Perfect. All right. You can fully disassemble this into a much more compact uh, we'll say, uh, you know, I guess just easier to store, I will say, where you have all your separate parts and you can store them separately. Or we're going to probably take this off as more of an assembly. And if you have the room to store it like that, then it'll be easier to put back on when you want to swap back and forth. You could take this almost apart to where, you know, it came in the box where, you know, you take all these brackets off and so forth. But um, honestly, if you're going to switch back and forth, maybe find a spot in your garage for this and, and it's a lot easier to go back and forth. Now the cool thing about this is there is quite a bit of hardware but like nothing is rocket science, you know? It's all super easy to kind of bolt on and bolt off. The important thing with these bolts down here along the side of the vehicle, we're actually going to be reusing these for the hard top so keep these in a convenient and safe location. Now the thing about the internet is there is no correct way to use a ratchet and every way is the incorrect way. And now you can leave that comment now. Thanks for the advice, guys. <laughs> so Rick, I noticed when we put the soft top on, we applied this kind of seal along um, this mm -hmm. flat surface. Does this need to come off? No, it doesn't. This came with the Trek top kit, and this can stay on underneath the hard top as well as this bulb seal that's going around the trim here. Cool. Awesome, sweet. So uh, if we wanted to go back to the soft top, we wouldn't have to reapply anything like that. Correct. All right, so one more thing that needs to come off. We've got these little side panels, which look cool, Rick. They look very, like, louvered. Yeah, they, I was just saying that they look like they really fit in with the uh, factory Bronco trim there. This has got to make our Bronco faster, and now we're taking them off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Adds about 10 horsepower, I think. 
So Rick, that didn't take too long. We got all the hardware off, we got the soft mm -hmm. top off. Now we're just going to put only the rear portion or some of the panels on too. Can you explain that? Yeah, we're gonna start with just the rear portion and uh, we're gonna get that all bolted down. Like we mentioned, you know, you're gonna use a lot of those same fasteners that were holding our rails down and hold, held the factory soft top down. But uh, then we're gonna go ahead and put those center panels on, I guess you could say, or rear panels. And the fronts won't go back on because that's where the Sunrider's gonna go. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, this is a lot better. That's uh, unbelievably light. Make sure you shut your tailgate like we have here. Makes it much easier to get it up and over that spare tire. And then are there like little alignment dowels here? Yep, push it right up a little further to the back of those uh, door rails there. There you go. Let me get this one. Wow, that was so easy. So I really like how Ford does this. They give you this little area to hook up your hard top connections when you're running like a soft top. Um, it's a really smart idea. I can get it off, there you go. And then these just hook up to our new hard top over here. That is the little tube for the rear washer squirter. And then this guy is going to be for the uh, power. So the hard top, just like that, we're good to go. So, we're just getting done attaching the hard top. There's a line of bolts along the side. There are two on the top, which took a little bit of finagling in. Um, and then of course, I'd recommend leaving things pretty loose until you get all the bolts in and then you kind of snug them up. All right, so now we're gonna install this center panel, which is removable, and this is just held in with a couple of little thumb attachments. This is where the zipper comes in handy. So this mesh top is really cool. This is called the Bimini, and it kind of gives you some sun protection when you have uh, the, uh, the sun shining through. And we've been using it on our soft top, but we can also use it on the Sunrider as well. So when we fold it back, you'll, uh, you'll still have that sun slash leave protection. Yeah, you can actually use it with any top option for the Bronco. So we accidentally took off these brackets, which turns out are pretty, um, pretty important when it comes to securing the panels on the, uh, the, the top, the hard top. So this is gonna go back on here, and then we can put the, uh, the bimini on top of it. To secure this top into position, there's just a couple of latches, which are kind of obscured by the mesh, but luckily, Best Top has really thought of that and given you these little pockets so you can kind of put your hand in there. And that's how you get to the latches. All right, Rick, so let's do a little unboxing here. What do we have yeah. going on? All right, so the main assembly is right here in this big yellow bag. And All right. Definitely want to take that off first. Sweet. Complimentary Best Top Lawn and Leaf bag. You can take this protector strip off. It's just a just to protect the seal here. Okay. But uh, what we're gonna first do is uh, we're gonna attach these rails down here um, to either side of the main assembly we have here. All right, yeah, so the first step uh, is to attach this plastic assembly to the hinged metal assembly on the other side with these screws right here. Make sure you put them in uh, these rearward holes. All right, so that just kind of sets down up top there. Are we pretty close to having this mounted up? Yeah, uh, we just have a few other steps to do and then we should be all set. So the way that the Sunrider secures to the top of the Bronco is very simple. We've got a bolt here, a bolt here, and then of course two more on the other side. All right, so we're installing this bracket in the back here. This is gonna keep everything nice and tight and sealed up. So you just undo a couple of latches and then you can throw it back just like that. And the cool thing is we still have the bimini here, so we've got like that nice little uh, shaded area as well, which is cool. And then you get home, right? Maybe you got some weather, you can fold that forward. And then a couple of latches here, and you are fully sealed back up. So Rick, tell me about this material. Uh, what is it made out of and what kind of care do you recommend? Yeah, so that's our black twill material that is available in the Trek top as well as the Sunrider as you see here. I always recommend that. It, it's gonna last longer and look nicer. It has like a more deep black, but to take care of it, it's actually not too bad. I'd say on maybe a yearly or you know, give or take about that frequency, you can use our fabric protectant, which is specific for the twill material. Huh. Uh, and. Other than that, it, it's gonna last quite a long time, uh, even more so than the vinyl version, which is why it costs a little bit more. It is a better material. Gotcha, very mm -hmm. cool. Well, it's a beautiful Colorado day, so there's only one thing to do. Flip back the Sunrider and take it for a ride to see what it's like. This is pretty awesome, especially for front seat passengers. Now I'm gonna roll up the windows here so that the audio doesn't get too blown out. But I really think this is a pretty good setup for a lot of folks because 
it's super easy, no hassle. Um, there's no need to kind of carry up those big cumbersome panels. And you still get a little bit of fun in the sun experience. All right, let's bring it up to some speed here so you can get any buffeting. Oh, it really seems pretty good. Just a little bit of a breeze. And then of course with the bimini, not actually all that sunny here because I got this nice little mesh over me. And just like that, the dry is over. Let's go ahead and close it up. A couple of latches on the inside, just like this. And now, we're fully sealed and ready for the weather. Now, if folks want to purchase the Sunrider for Hardtop, where yeah. do they find it? So, uh, we do sell this directly through besthop.com, uh, you know, directly from us. Uh, we offer it through a number of distributors and, and retailers out there if you have an off-road shop you like to work with. But also, uh, this is a Ford licensed product, so you can get this from a Ford dealership as well. Sweet. Well guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I can't wait to get this out on the trail and get some fun in the sun action. Plus with the Bimini, I'm not going to get burned because I get burned very easily. Dude, thank you for <laughs> yeah. coming out. Thanks for having us. Yeah, really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.